It isn't easy. It isn't glamorous. It takes time and perseverance, teamwork, and guidance. Sometimes it leads nowhere, and you have to start over with a new idea, a new approach. But the time and the work are never wasted. Because sometimes when you least expect it, you find something new. It can lead to a cure or an innovation. Or just a new understanding of the world around us. It's called research. It's not easy to talk about. Even the titles of our projects can be difficult. Sounds complicated, I know, but let's take a closer look. My name is Yanai Kashtan. I'm a physics and chemistry major. Over the summer and for the past couple of years, I've been studying charge carrier transport in organic field effect transistors. I've always kind of thought that I would want to be a research scientist, so it was a, kind of a natural question to ask, well, gosh, how does research differ from classwork? It doesn't have the same structure as a classroom, so we're a lot more independent and we do, we do quite a bit of interpretation on our own, which is a little different. History research is li literally sitting down and just, um, you have your primary sources and your, your secondary sources. And so you just um, look at what, like the scholarship that is out there about the topic that you're interested in. And then you look at the primary sources with your own interpretations. And you just try to see what is the narrative as a historian your job is to sort of piece together that narrative in a way that it's, I guess it flows or it makes sense. You know, what I love to do is be outside. So I do spend most of my days outside here in the park. Um, I think that's different from a lab because it really gives me the opportunity to, you know, make my own plan. So on the first day of work, Professor Taylor introduced uh, my lab partner, Joseph and I to the GCMS and then he showed us how to use it, and then he said, okay, here you go, explore with this $500,000 machine, <laughs> but don't break anything. My day typically starts at 8 a.m., and uh, it's been primarily in the wood shop, where I go in there, if it's dirty, I'll maybe clean it up, sweep around a lot, because there's dust that always gets generated. And while preparing stock, I use all the machines in there, so a joiner, planer, uh, band saw, table saw, chop saw, all that stuff. So I, I'm well versed in all the machinery in there. I have to come up and ask a lot of questions. What I'm finding though is it's really nice that Professor Whitaker is open to those questions and the questions that I'm asking sometimes he doesn't know the answer to either, which means I assume I'm asking the right questions. It makes me feel much more of a, of a peer or an equal in this idea of research. In terms of what I'm learning right now, there's, there's some sort of pragmatic stuff, which is just like, I'm learning how to code better, I'm learning how to work with certain types of technology, like um, one of the projects I have right now is to build a trap camera. So how cheap can we build a camera that is durable to like, be able to survive in the jungles of Costa Rica, that can trigger based on a certain sound and only that sound, and that can give us a video of the Hero Crepitans in its actual environment. I chose the project because I had Eric as a teacher last semester um, for volcanology, um, and I thought that was just one of the coolest classes that I've ever taken. Um, so I kind of wanted to continue looking at volcanoes, and this was a really cool opportunity to do so. I'm really interested in linguistics and language production and discrimination as a whole. So when I heard about this research project and Nicole emailed me, I was like, yes, yes please. This is exactly what I want to look into. This is exactly what like I'm interested in. Research really gives me kind of a background in learning more about things that I'm interested in. This is really pushing the boundary, right? Professor Whitaker made this comment to me the other day where he was like, no one has ever studied this in the, in the slow motion capacity that you are right now. Like, no one has ever seen a video like this before. And there's something really, I think, unique about that to the scientific process of knowing that you are sort of one of the first people to actually examine this closely with this type of methodology. I think that that's a really cool thing. <laughs> well, I, I think I'm, I'm uh, becoming increasingly clear that research is a, is a pretty good fit for me. And so, so I, I always thought I was going to go to grad school, but it's kind of making me more, more confident. And it's, it's shaping the, the, the places that, the programs that I'm thinking about and the, and the types of work that I'm thinking about doing. Regardless, I think research is a really, really important skill to have. So it's just a good experience, even if you don't go into it into the future. The questions we're trying to answer are difficult. That's why they haven't been answered yet. And each time you find an answer, it leads to a whole new set of questions. That's how new knowledge is created. And that's how we learn things no class can teach. 
how to be part of something bigger, how to collaborate effectively, how to persevere when we fail, how to make a difference, a real difference, in the real world. That's research.